Sula Seth Avre at Qun Experience Ankhya. Salut, welcome to my channel. My name is Tanu and I recently cleared TEF Canada exam and I'll be sharing my study guide with you on this channel so please watch out for more videos. You will be surprised to know that when I took my TEF Canada exam in June 2022 I was least worried about the speaking part because I was well prepared. And I am going to share my three most important methods that I've used regularly in order to gain that confidence and those three methods have done wonders for me i think probably that is the reason that i was able to face the exam with confidence and ease so without a further ado let's get started my first method was record mock test listen to it and identify some mistakes and record it again so for those who don't know in section a of the exam you will be presented with an advertisement you will get 1 minute to go through it and to think about some questions and then you'll have to call up the company and ask 10 relevant questions on the same topic and you'll get 5 minutes for that in section b you would again be presented with an advertisement and this time you have to call up a friend and convince your friend to participate in some event attend some online course travel somewhere depending on what you have on the advertisement and for that purpose you get 10 minutes So my method was to identify a topic from section A, for instance, and then I would uh, look up for an image on Google, and I would try and identify an advertisement on the same topic with some sort of information. I would give myself a couple of minutes to absorb the information which is there on the advertisement, and also to think about the questions that I would like to ask. Then I would record an audio. and uh, i would set up a timer of 5 minutes uh, i may make some mistakes while i'm recording the audio i may find it difficult to find some vocabulary i may make mistakes with conjugation but i would not stop until 5 minutes are over bonjour suis je bien chez voyage au ensemble parfait excusez moi de vous déranger je m'appelle tanu et je vous contacte comme ça once my audio is recorded i go to my audio write down the mistakes that i have done if there was certain vocabulary i was unconfident about i would look up for those words on uh, internet and then i would write them down and then i would re-record uh, the audio on the same topic sometimes i would also send my audios to my teacher and i would receive her comments as well so she would identify some mistakes and apart from that she would also give me some um, overall comments in terms of how the overall conversation was how was my tone how was my pronunciation and whether the questions that i asked or the arguments that i gave were relevant or not that exercise was extremely helpful for me and it helped me to improve day by day because when i do my mock test with my teacher uh, i think about 70% of the mistakes that i make were something which could have been avoided easily but when you talk especially in a different language which you have just learned it's very normal to make some mistakes unknowingly and uh, when she would make corrections at the end of uh, the mock test she would ask me that this is what you said and what do you think uh, what is the right version of it or what is the right vocabulary or conjugation and i think in 90% of the cases i was able to correct it uh, on my own without taking any help from her and that was the whole objective of recording mock test separately uh, and my teacher could also see that improvement and uh, she also told me that whatever you are doing just keep doing because it is working and that also gave me that confidence that i should continue to push myself and i should continue to record audios because that was the one most powerful method which was working for me so the next method was create a list of personalized expressions i know that many people suggest to uh, learn some expressions in french by heart because it may help you to score better in the exam which is true to some extent but i feel that if you just try and uh, memorizing some expressions during the exam uh, you may either be not be able to use them at all or you probably would use them inappropriately so what i did was when i used to uh, record mock test or i used to do mock test with my teacher i would make a list of sentences or expressions which i tend to use naturally during the conversation so for instance in section b of the exam when you have to convince your friend 
and your friend gives you powder on the men i generally say that i understand but if you think about it from another perspective so i stumbled a bit when i was trying to use this statement particularly a uh, couple of times in the beginning but then i wrote it down and i made sure that i don't make this mistake again so whenever my friend would make a counter argument or give me some strong reason for not doing a certain thing which i am trying to convince him for then i would say we japan ko messi to ek pants the not who are the who which means that i understand but if you think about it from another perspective the other thing that i say generally when i start my conversation in section b and suppose if there is an advertisement and i have to convince my friend to go somewhere on the weekend then i would ask my friend uh, atu desha pe wo kal ko shows ko so again uh, which means i uh, have you already planned something for the weekend if my friend says no then i say satom bia which means perfect because i am here to propose something to you uh, to do on the weekend similarly i i think i use this thing a lot whenever i have to tell my friend to do something and my friend is not convinced then i would say you know i was also not sure but i did that last year and it turned out to be an amazing experience so i would write down on a piece of paper sula set avre at your experience ankhya so i think with time i came up with a repository of these sentences and expressions which i would actually use a lot during the conversation and it all came to me very naturally because i don't have to force fit an expression or a statement in my conversation because those were actually very personalized and i think it also helps you to sound natural during your conversation and uh, i feel this is what they are looking for they are looking for if you are fluent if you are at ease with the language so if you can personalize these expressions and these sentences rather than trying to memorize them i think that would work perfectly in your case as well my third method was to dive into french zone before my speaking session if i'm going to record some audio or i'm going to have my speaking classes in one hour i would utilize that time to train my ears to french and i would listen to french audio for the speaking part i would go through all the expressions and uh, sentences which are my personalized sentences or expressions and i would read them out loud so that would also help me to get into the french zone so i think these are the three methods which have done wonders for me thanks to all these methods that i was not at all nervous for my speaking exam in fact i was very excited and i was looking forward to it i hope that you find this video helpful and you would be able to adopt some of these strategies in your speaking practice as well and i wish you all the best and i'll see you soon bye